This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, the sun power. This is the noon Barbados Today update for Thursday, April the 17th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. The owner of Barbados' oldest garment manufacturing company says he's fast losing business to imports and he's at its wit's end. Director of the River Bay Trading Company, Ian Pickett, says the sales of his polo shirts and t-shirts are down significantly because of an influx of cheaper and lower quality t-shirts from the Dominican Republic. Pickup, who employs 45 people, says his operations are in serious jeopardy. Police need the public's help in finding a 15-year-old boy who has been missing for the past four days. They say Shaquille O'Neal Mason of Ellerton in St. George was last seen about 7 p.m. on Monday at Edgecliff in St. John. At the time, he was wearing a red shirt with yellow stripes, a black and grey skinny pants and black sneakers. Shaquille is about 5 feet 4 of slim build and has a light brown complexion. He has long, a long face and walks with an erect appearance. He has black hair cut low. Anyone with information about his whereabouts is asked to call the police emergency at telephone number 211 or the nearest police station. Barbados appears to be winning the battle against the giant African snail. Entomologist in the Ministry of Agriculture Ian Gibbs reports that infestation has dropped significantly in many parishes, including St. Thomas, which had the highest level of infestation. Gibbs says 406 tons of snails have been caught. That's enough to fill 20 of the large trucks that transport canes. He's pleased with the success of the eradication exercise. There are now some 12 or so species of predators feeding on the giant African snail including things like blackbirds, we have pictorial evidence of it. Gabaligrets, mongoose, snails, land turtles, a host of them, almost 12. So you've got the combination of the bounty program, the pra control practices that people have been doing over the years and now on top of that 12 or so different species of predators feeding on it. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, the sun power. To regional developments in Jamaica, the Independent Commission of Investigations, or INDICOM, reports a record sharp decrease in the number of people killed by security forces during the first quarter of this year. According to figures, 40 people were killed during the first three months of this year, 
as compared to 76 for the corresponding period last year. Indicom says 22 people were killed in January, down from 30 recorded in 2013, and in February, 14 fatalities were recorded as against 27 in 2013. The figures also show there were four killings in March, a significant decline from the 19 recorded last year. On the international front, the captain of the South Korean ferry, which sunk 36 hours ago, is facing criminal investigations amid reports that he was one of the first to jump to safety from the stricken vessel. Coast Guard officials said 69-year-old Lee Jun Siok could be charged with violating a law that governs the conduct of shipping crew. The vessel, which carries 475 passengers, most of them students and crew, capsized during a journey from the port of Incheon to the holiday island of Jehu. Today, Coast Guards recovered five more bodies, raising the death toll to 14 people. Another 179 passengers have been rescued, leaving 282 unaccounted for and possibly trapped in the vessel. That's been the noon update. Join us again at 6 p.m. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power.